Okay, we are here in Fort Myers, Florida. It is January 26th or something like that? 26th. 26th. So we have a happy patient from Tampa area, but he had a very unique kind of floater. Um, it blurred your vision when you were reading, looking down mostly? Yes, or vision, what? driving, you know, all the time. Yeah. And you had been to an ophthalmologist or not up there? I had been checked out. Basically, everybody told me they could not much you could do. Hopefully, it will sink and move and we, you know be out of the sight yeah. vision, but it just yeah. never did. And how many years ago was that? Uh, it was over two, almost two years. Two years. And 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 the type of float of your head was very unusual. It's uh, actually here's a video of it. Uh, it's behind the natural crystalline lens of the eye. It's. I think these are the most difficult to treat adequately uh, because they're so close to delicate structures. I mean, we're working in this video probably, I would say two millimeters from the lens, maybe less. Mm, well, safely, safely, well. I might add. Uh, if you hit the lens of the eye, you can of course get cataract, but we have not done so. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, you got to hit this thing on the fly, which makes it very, very, yeah. very difficult. I mean, I was... Wasn't I tired after doing your the third case? one? I know for sure. Yeah. yeah. So we actually had to day. do we had to do four sessions. Right. Uh, the, after the first session, there wasn't much difference, was well, there? The first was excellent. Oh, uh, the first one was first excellent. one. I was big, big difference. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't think I was so great the first time, but uh, <laughs> it, it does. One was so, was yeah, in, in, incrementally, it incrementally, it might be a little less, but they are very difficult to get. Right. I don't think a lot of doctors recognize these kind of floaters because they are behind the natural lens of the eye and when you're looking on the inside you're looking basically beyond them or you're looking at stuff further back so it's not recognized they classically the uh, patient perceives it as like a windshield wiper or a grease smudge mm -hmm. that comes over their vision when they look down I've done a bunch of dentists with this problem but uh, it can be done. Uh, by the time we put everybody's little video testimonial, we'll probably have enough for a scientific paper. Mm. But uh, for those doubters out there uh, and for patients who have ophthalmologists who do doubt, uh, please show them the video. And uh, rather than wait for a double-blind cross-controlled study, which might occur before one of us is dead, mm -hmm. uh, just ask the patient. And you're a happy patient, right? It was like a big uh, smudge. You always tried to try, thought somebody had them on my contacts, or I thought I had them on my glasses. Uh, but that is that entirely went away the first time. But then I would have a little annoying one kind of fly by once in a while. Uh, that didn't change too much. The second one, the third one, that went away a lot. So no, without question. Uh, I'm here for the fourth to just try to enhance it a little bit more, if possible. A little if bit. Not, we just, I, you know, not, it, happy and, and I always stress <laughs> to patients, uh, more is not better. Right. Sort of like a uh, breast augmentation, more is not always better. There's a point where it's just right. Right. Well, words can't describe how happy I was after the first treatment. Yeah. And there we are doing it there, right behind the mm -hmm. crystalline lens, and it was tough. And painless. <laughs> it was it was it was tough mentally mm -hmm. to do this for me. The concentration oh, required, imagine. and you have to have the proper equipment. Sure. But anyway, for me, painless as far as no no, 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 no pain. <laughs> right. You know, but uh, very right. very very grateful I came here. Great. Well, you're a great patient, and uh, I hope uh, when you get back to Tampa and you visit an ophthalmologist, you tell him what was done. Uh, definitely. Uh, will. He probably won't believe it anyway, but tell him they can always call me. Uh, all right. Will. No question at all. Okay. Thank, thank you very you. much, doctor. Sure.